So the main answer is that T decreases. A secondary answer is that T stays the same. And the, the third answer is that T actually increased. Um, so, so let me ask you, for, for those of you who said that the temperature decreased, for those of you who answered B, because I kind of like B, um, what were you thinking? Why'd you decide B? Yeah. Um, Okay, that that's a I, I'm not sure if everybody heard that. That's a kind of convoluted uh, set of things to think about. And by convoluted, I actually mean exactly right. Uh, it is a kind of a convoluted set of things that you have to think about. W is negative. So delta U is negative. Internal energy, by the way, primarily primarily E thermal and E bond, but, but these are this is an ideal gas in both cases, so no bond energy changes. So if delta U is negative, then delta E thermal is negative, and as was pointed out, the indicator for E thermal is temperature. So delta T is negative. Yeah? So if we're going to process 1 to 2, um, pressure is staying the same, right? Because that's the point of the piston. Or is pressure changing? Well, I didn't tell you anything about the pressure. OK, but if pressure was constant when temperature increased. So, increases. so, so if, if pressure happened to be constant, then while the volume went up, then the temperature would have, I mean, there's only, the temperature would have had to go up if it's an ideal gas. If the pressure was constant, the volume went up and the temperature had to go up. But I didn't tell you anything about the pressure. And, and I could say, think about it. I mean, if I, so I have this gas here. If I want the volume to go up, what do I, what should I do with my hands? <laughs> I should relax them. I should stop applying so much pressure. In fact, I should let the pressure go down. And then the gas will push on my hand. It will lose energy. So actually what happens here is that the pressure goes down. I mean, you, you, could, you can make assumptions, but I tried not to tell you anything about the pressure. I tried even not to hint about it. Other than I suggested that you don't have enough information to use the ideal gas law. I didn't tell you why you didn't have enough, but, but if you think about it, if you, certainly N is constant. The, 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 the stuff that's trapped in that space is the same stuff whether it's a big volume or a small, small volume. The volume got larger. And so you can answer the question of temperature if you only knew how the pressure was changing. So I tried to hint that the pressure, that you don't know enough to use this, so, so don't. But the reason you don't is I didn't tell you what the pressure was doing. In fact, if this is point one, you could, you could say something about what the pressure is doing after you've decided from the, fir from, the I from the first law of thermodynamics, after you've decided that the temperature goes down, because the internal energy went down, and that means the thermal energy went down, the temperature must have gone down. After you've decided that from the, from the first law, then you can say something about what this looks like on the graph. What does that process look like? Well, Suppose you t kept the temperature constant, because that's a kind of standard thing that we do. Keep a temperature constant while you change the pressure and volume around. It's not an unusual thing to do. If the temperature is constant, then all this stuff on the right is constant. Then it turns out the pressure is, is proportional to 1 over V. So the pressure is a, follows a, a path that's just a hyperbola. It's just 1 over V. If the temperature is constant, 
there's actually a name for, for that process. If the temperature is constant, you call it isothermal. I'm not going to quiz you on these names, but people use them, so I'm going to use them. If the temperature is constant, you call it isothermal. An isothermal process, if the volume doubles, the volume doubles at constant temperature, then the pressure would be half. This is not an isothermal process. When we double the volume, and that volume does approximately double, when we double the volume here, the temperature goes down. We can tell that from the first law. We've taken work energy out. We didn't put any heat in or out. So energy came out and the thermal energy must have gone down. So the temperature went down. Where on this thing, compared to this point right here, where it would have been at constant T, am I at a higher pressure or a lower pressure if the temperature went down? How many for higher? How many for lower? Okay, lower. Somewhere down here. One, step one was here. Two is somewhere down there. It's lower than the isothermal pressure would have been. The process that, it, that I took was something along a line like that. That's a Q equals zero process. I already told you Q equals zero, so that is the Q equals zero process. Um, there's another name for that. Again, I'm not going to quiz you on these names, but, but the name is adiabatic. In case you've ever heard that, that's all it means. No heat was transferred. Um, okay, any questions about that? We, we, did, we had an adiabatic process. No heat was transferred. The pressure went down as the volume went up. The pressure went down more than you would have thought it would for an isothermal process. Did you go for a why? I, I, I don't understand why. So, so the argument here was Q is zero. W is negative because work energy was taken out. If energy was taken out as work and none was taken out or put in as heat, then the internal energy went down. The internal energy of the gas went down because the gas was the thing pushing on that piston. Internal energy, all we got that can change is thermal energy. If thermal energy goes down, then the temperature goes down. It's slow, the gas, all the particles in the gas slow down a little bit. And so this temperature is lower than it would have been if it was a constant temperature process. If it was an isothermal process, this would have gone as 1 over V. Now it's a lower temperature, so it's a lower pressure. Okay, step 2 to 3. We're going to keep 1 to 2 the same. The pictures are all the same. 1 to 2 has no heat transfer. 2 to 3, between 2 and 3, I'm going to transfer heat in. I'm going to transfer heat in enough heat so that you at the internal energy in step in state one and the internal energy in state three are the same. So for the process one to three, how does the temperature change? Negative. 